Welcome to the Security Speakeasy, where we talk about all things network security. Today, we are discussing cybersecurity trends in the commercial business. My name is Martin Rosas. I am a Systems Engineering Director here at Palo Alto Networks. And joining me today for the discussion is Stacey O'Kine. She's also a Systems Engineering Director here. And today we're gonna to talk about some trends we're seeing in the commercial space. So Stacey, uh, first thing I would like to do is, you know, talk about one of the trends that we've seen in my, in my conversations with customers. And I'd like to get your thoughts. Uh, ransomware, it is, has been frequently in the news lately. And, and I'm curious what, you, what you're seeing is how big of a risk is it for growing businesses in the commercial space? Great question, Martin. I think, I think certainly ransomware is a big risk when we think about things like the Colonial Pipeline. Uh, but I, I think for our commercial customers or SMB customers, I think there's a breadth of uh, breach and threat vectors that we're concerned about. I mean, think about Log4j, Colonial Pipeline, supply chain attacks with SolarWinds. So all of those things are relevant to this space. Uh, very true, very true. And, and one of the things that I'm, I'm also curious about is it, when you're talking to customers and they ask about wh where do we think a lot of these threats are coming from? You know, do, do you primarily focus on things like nation state and hacktivism, or do you think it's more just general cybercrime? I think it is a combination, especially more recently. A lot of our customers are concerned about the Russian-Ukrainian crisis. So there's, there's a lot of interest and concern about uh, the threat actors that may result as a as part of that crisis. But I do think things like email threat vector are very, very prevalent in our space. So not, not nation state, not um, super complex, but as simple as a phishing email and an employee clicking on that and really kind of wreaking havoc within the, the network environment. And if you were going to uh, advise a customer on maybe one or two key things that they could do to, to really maximize their protection against ransomware. Uh, what were some of the, what are some of those suggestions? Yeah. So, so I would say identify the critical assets is, is really important because you have, you need to know what, what you want to protect. So um, I think that's a very good place to start. And then employing something like a zero trust architecture where we're concerned about removing the implicit trust. So to the extent that we can remove trust between users, between devices, between network boundaries, that is a way to uh, reduce the blast radius or attack surface when it comes to things like ransomware. And with the zero trust architecture, one of the, the, the most common places to start is with identity. So making sure you have a good authentication strategy within your organization for both your users as well as your devices can be a really, really great place to start. Excellent. Yeah, absolutely great advice. And, and it's certainly a place for a lot of commercial businesses to, to start when it comes to ransomware. So let's transition a little bit. Let's, let's talk about a, another trend that, that I've heard about uh, and we want to get your thoughts on. So how has the evolution of cloud and SaaS affected the way growing businesses think about cybersecurity? It, well, it's, it certainly has been accelerated by things like the pandemic. And I, I think there are two parts to this conversation. First would be the migration to the cloud where uh, oftentimes customers are doing uh, SaaS first, cloud first, direct access to the cloud for their applications. If you think about historically, the way we architected our network networks, you had a user at the branch site, and if they needed to access the application, they, they connect it back through HQ and those applications resided in the data center. Well, that's no longer the case. So applications are everywhere. 
And then the second piece of that is users are everywhere, right? So we used to um, go to a location for work. We would get in our cars, drive somewhere and carry out our responsibilities or, or our duties. And now work happens everywhere. And so I think a combination of both those things has increased complexity, has also increased the attack surface. And these are all of the challenges that our customers are, are facing right now. Yeah, it, it, I'm glad you mentioned the, the effects of the pandemic because I think that that really has change the way that we have to address cybersecurity and measure risk within our organization. You know, the, the other thing that is interesting is we see a lot of growing companies in the, in the commercial segment. So organizations that uh, businesses are expanding, they're, they're breaking new ground in their industry. And, and I'm curious, you know, for organizations like that, what, what are some of the, the key things they need to remember when it comes to, to cybersecurity? I think, First, again, just, just knowing what you need to protect is, is a critical first step. Um, I would say um, one of the challenges that many of our customers face is, is just the lack of skills and the lack of resources. So to the extent you can leverage automation, I think that really helps to um, manage what can be very complex when you're when you're trying to put in place cybersecurity controls. So those are those are some of the things that that come to mind. I, I think overall what you want to do when you think about your security strategy is you want to be able to have consistent strategy, consistent security controls, whether you're talking about users, endpoints, cloud, network, the more consistent you can roll out your security architecture, the easier it'll be. And then I think automation, the more that we can automate uh, security controls and management processes, the easier it becomes for customers in our space who often just don't have the resources and the, the people to really uh, manage a, a security environment. Yeah, I absolutely agree with all of those things. And I think it's critical for growing businesses who are focused on their core business to, to really take a step back and kind of understand the, the, the risk uh, associated with their growing business and then take appropriate action. So thanks, Stacey, for joining us at Security Speakeasy to talk about cybersecurity trends for the commercial and SMB market. If you like today's episode, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment below. To learn more about security for SMB and commercial customers, visit paloaltonetworks.com. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next episode.